Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, October 29th, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, all right? So this reading is meant to be timeless. So just because it's dated for the 29th of October, it does not mean it can only resonate at that time, okay? Whenever you come across this reading, after the 29th and it resonates for you, then that is the reading or the message for you at that time. Yes? Okay, well, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. I had a very great, very, very good weekend. It was extremely productive. Everything went really well. Both of the, the gigs that I had were awesome. They went great. Um, and I was able to get through them really quite well. I was very surprised. I was very, very surprised <laughs> at how I was able to get through them so well, but then also circumstances aligned in a way that just worked really well. So I want to really thank the universe for that one. Because <laughs> um, let me tell you, at first I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this, but it worked. It, I did it and I'm very happy about it. Um, and I took my day to rest yesterday. I l basically slept damn near all day and it was fantastic. <laughs> so now I am rested and I'm ready to go and I'm very, very happy to be here with you all. So happy Tuesday. Yeah. All right. So let's just get into it. So our pre-shuffle energies seem to be pretty good right now. Um, and there's a funny little story about that. Before I started recording, I was shuffling the deck, getting the energies primed, getting set and ready to go. Um, and I defaulted on one of the shuffles, meaning like the shuffle just didn't work. And I almost <laughs> threw the cards everywhere. But one card fell out and it was strength, which is what we have here. But at first it was this side of the card. Okay. Um, so there is a need, there is a need for strength. There is a need to be, um, staying firm in what you believe in, staying true to yourself. Um, but then, so then, okay. So, but I put I put it back because I wasn't really ready for anything to come out just yet. Um, and so then I started the pre-shuffle and lo and behold, strength came back out, but it's this side of the card now. So there is definitely a need to... Follow your it follow your intuition, follow the guidance given, not to allow anything to scare you off your path, out of your um, chosen direction, anything like that, okay? Because in the overall energy, you do have the three of pentacles, in which it's the side of the card where we actually have two individuals doing the actual building here so this isn't like a situation in which you know you're ready to start and building you're ready to start building or you're ready to start finding team members or whatnot whatever to break ground on your project no here we are you are actually building your basically when it comes to building here it's talking about building a foundation because from the third from the three of pentacles you move to the four of pentacles which is the foundation now the four of pentacles can represent hoarding and holding on to something too tightly but in terms of building something, you move from the three to the four um, in terms of building your physical foundation, right? And so this is what's, this is what's happening right now. Also, the Three of Pentacles is a card of self-mastery, yes? So we're all very much in this phase of self-mastery. And I just saw 333 three, three on the counter, okay? So we're really doing this and the universe is, is guiding us. The universe is at our, has our backs. The uh, Ascended Masters also are definitely helping us with this, yes? If you choose to, to allow them to help you, to ask for their help, to whatnot, whatever, okay? On the other side of the deck, you have none other than the Nine of Cups, uh, yes? Wish fulfillment, um, dreams coming true, but you're, you're having an active role in this, you guys. Three of Pentacles, you're having an active role. This is not a passive situation, or at least... You are not allowing, or the, 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 I guess the guidance here, but I'm going to be quite honest. This is what I just feel like for those of us that are really striving. You're not taking that much of a passive role in this. Um, other than the fact that, you know, being aware of the fact that you need to allow the universe to align things for you. But in terms of like staying in your own alignment with what it is you desire and taking action when you're inspired to do so, that's exactly what you need to be doing. So in terms of that, you're not really being passive here. You're actually doing quite well and you're working quite well with the universe. I just saw 444 on the counter. Okay, so, the, but the message here is to not let anything scare you off your path. All right, you've come very, very far so far. So really, 
honor yourself. I just, I just heard honor yourself, honor your convictions, honor the things that you've come to understand about yourself, about your reality, honor the things that you really enjoy about your reality. And again, don't let anything sway you. Okay. Stay, stay in your truth, stay in your honesty, stay in your integrity. Right. Okay. I like that a lot, you guys. So let's move forward. Let us move forward here. Ooh, look at look at that. The world. All right. Cycles are completing, y'all. Okay. And this is an ongoing process. This is not something that you can really rush either. All right. You're really, oh, two of cups. Mm. Mm. Let's get into that later. We'll look into that later. <laughs> um, and it's interesting because I have, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I have been seeing 222 a lot lately. There's 555 on the counter. Um, I have been. I have been. And I do feel like there is a collective message in that um, in terms of aligning with the soul, a soulmate, being on the right path, doing what it is that you love to do, staying balanced, staying firm in, and committed to yourself and what you've and, and, and how you've grown and whatnot. I do feel like a, a, a relationship is really quite aligning for you guys, for for us, you know, especially those of us in this collective that I've been channeling for, you know, so frequently for so long. Um, I've been seeing two, 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 constantly, and it's kind of I'm kind of started. I, I, in terms of aligning with a soulmate, I'm really not even in an energy of really needing that anymore. I've, I've come to the point where I'm very, very happy being on my own. Um, I'm really enjoying my alone time. I'm enjoying, you know, the process of, of building my life, this Three of Pentacles energy that came out. So whenever I'm seeing this 222 or these Two of Cups or anything like that, I'm like, yeah, all right, spirit, whatever. <laughs> okay, it's coming. Great. Well, we'll see what happens when it gets here. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not really paying attention to that. <laughs> All right. So, we'll see what else comes out here, but just know I, I I wanted to share that message. That is, yeah. That is um something that's coming on down the pipeline for us, okay? But don't don't worry about it. Don't focus on it too much cuz that's really just going to put Look at that. The Ace of Cups wants to come out. And it's the side of the card that's kind of shadowy. And you have this figure here that's kind of maybe even creeping up on you. <laughs> Stalker status like. Yeah, we do have the fool here too. All right. So <clears throat> something's coming. Something's coming. But don't worry about it. Don't focus on it. That's just going to put resistance and blockage into it. Just focus on you. Just keep. Yep. See? Look. There you go. There's that devil again. And it's the same side of the card too. Keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on what you're building and all that stuff and everything's gonna be just fine, yeah? I'm gonna give this a shuffle and then we'll move forward. Oh look, oh look, the sun. Look, the sun's on the top of the deck, guys. That's cute. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get into this. Give me, actually, give me one second. Give me just one second here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's do this. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, October 29th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. So this is one for our Tuesday, October 29th, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. Two and a three. <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got here. Tuesday, October 29th. What would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? 
what's going on with the energies of the collective today or at this moment? What is What message do people need at this moment in their lives? We've got one. We're going to, okay. Keep going. Yes. Okay. We're going to pull a little bit more here. Oh, maybe we should. Oh, good. Okay. All right. I just, I just peeked and looked at what we have. I'm going to pull some more. Yes. Keep going. Okay. For our Tuesday, October 29th, or whenever this message resonates, the message is for you at that time. At that time. Okay. That's enough now. All right. We have overall energy. We have the Hierophant. And we have, ooh, we have the Five of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So the first stack of cards that came out is the Lovers, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Cups again. The second stack is the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so I am feeling like this is two different people. Two different sides of the sides of the equation. You can look at this as masculine and feminine. That is kind of what I'm seeing here, but I'm not look, I'm not seeing this as the internal masculine and feminine. I'm seeing external reality here. I'm seeing one individual that is. Ooh, wow! I'm seeing one individual that is very much in this heart space. You have the King of Cups, right? Now, keep in mind, when I'm saying masculine and feminine, this is not gender-based. This is not gender-oriented, all right? This is, this is um, one person that embodies more of the masculine energy, another person that embodies more of the feminine energy. This, this does have nothing to do with gender, okay? So the masculine here could actually be a woman. The feminine here could actually be a man. It, again, gender has nothing to do with this, all right? However, we have one individual that is very much in this King of Cups energy very much in love or being aware of their emotions. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it as I feel it. They're very much in this lovey-dovey energy. They're in this King of Cups, lovers, bond, union, whatnot, whatever, okay? But I kind of feel like they're standing on their own here in this energy. Then you also have the Ace of Cups. So, and again, it's this side of the Ace of Cups where someone's kind of creeping up on you here. So somebody is coming through. Somebody's wanting to come through. And I, I, I do want to point out that almost all of these cards here, except for our overall energy, all of these cards, except, I'm sorry, except for the overall energy and the Seven of Pentacles here, it's all nighttime scenes. So it... It feels if we're talking about a counterpart situation here or we're just talking about two separate individuals here, they're both kind of the sun has set here. That's not a bad thing. And I feel like, OK, so, OK, it's not a bad thing. However, the person that's over here in this energy, the King of Cups lovers and the Ace of Cups, it's not the best because I'm feeling like they want to, they're, they're, there's a desire to, to come forward, to, to make some sort of offer. And yet they can't do that right now. Because the, this Hierophant energy st is standing in the way. We'll get there in a second. But let's look at this side of the card. We have the nine, I'm sorry, the side of the table. We have the nine of pentacles, the three of cups, and the seven of pentacles. All right. So this person here is very much rooted in their independence. I, I did kind of hear they're kind of stuck in this independence phase or energy. I wouldn't necessarily say it that way. It doesn't feel like this person feels stuck. It feels like this person is very happy <laughs> being independent um, in their, on their own. You know, they've, they've learned, they've really, really learned with this Seven of Pentacles energy. They've learned from the contrast. This is almost an energy of kind of giving up on love um, and yet they're not upset about it. I really don't feel like you're upset about it if you're on this side of the equation, especially with this Three of Cups. There's a very grateful energy. There's a very thankful, um, um, you know, appreciation, gratitude for 
being through what you've been through and being able to come out on the other side fully independent, strong, loving yourself or at least loving yourself more than you have in the past and continuing to build on that. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely continuing to build on that. You may even be in a checkpoint right now where you're trying to decide what it is, where it is you want to go next because of what it is you've been through so far. And then we have the, the energy that's in between the two of you. The higher fonts with the five of pentacles. You've got two fives here. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. This does feel like energy for the both of you. It does. However, whomever is on this side of the equation, nine of pentacles, three of cups, seven of pentacles, is has very much come to terms with this. Okay? Very much come to terms with this. This does feel like a masculine, masculine feminine dynamic. And it does very much feel like um, in terms of like, say, we'll talk about the counterparts and I'll use this phrase and it's not, it's not specific, doesn't have to be, but the twin flame journey, right? It very much feels like the masculine is in the energy that the feminine was in so long ago when the feminine was in that chaser energy. Well, the masculine is not necessarily chasing, okay? Because I really do feel like he recognizes that dynamic in himself and he's like refusing to go down that road again because of how it made him feel right um and he knows that if he, he's not there is no way i mean him chasing after the feminine right now is only going to make things worse right very much an energy of how dare you come at me with that type of energy when you basically dragged me through the mud when i was doing that on my like no <laughs> But also the masculine represents, uh, the masculine, um, okay, appreciates is what I heard, but recognizes the independent energy that the feminine is in and really does not want to disturb her, okay? Again, for fear of making things worse. Okay, that's fine. Um, but now the masculine feels like he's in this lovey dovey, um, emotional, watery, even we'll say caregiving energy, but there's this in the set, in between the two of you, the hierophant, structure, conformity, society, lessons also, because the hierophant is about teaching and learning uh, it, as well as all these other things too that I listed. Um, and if, and, 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 the lesson here, especially with this five of pentacles, it definitely feels like one of you, most likely the masculine, has been indoctrinated by this hierophant and is in fact in the structure or the church that the hierophant has built, you see, with this five of pentacles. And yet this person can't get out, feels like they can't get out, doesn't know how they're gonna make this work in within the confines, within the walls of the hierophant or whatever the hierophant, the structure that the hierophant represents. Make sense? So where the feminine here is very independent and very free, and she's very grateful for that, three of cups, the masculine here is kind of confined. And he's gonna step, have to step out of his comfort zone in order to make things work between the two of you. At least that's what it feels like. But I just heard that's neither here nor there. Really? That's neither here nor there? Then why are we even having this conversation? <laughs> if it's neither here nor there, masculine, then why are you so stressed out about this? Hmm. Okay, I wanna move forward. And I... I want to get some greater clarity here on the two sides of the equation. We're going to start we're going to start with the masculine first. Okay? We're going to start with the masculine first. Now, <clears throat> so okay, before I go any further, I want to talk about what our pre-shuffle energy has to do with this. 
for the masculine, you're definitely facing the devil right now in terms of strength because you're facing, you're, 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 it almost feels like you're having a head over heart battle type situation here. Your head or your mind being in under the influence of this Hierophant energy, again, societal structure, um, religion, dogma, university, government, um, uh, what is the other, um, conformity, tradition, all of that stuff. You're heavily influenced by this right now. Your mind is very heavily, heavily influenced by this right now. And I definitely feel like whatever it is you're experiencing is, ex is very much internal, okay? God forbid you let anybody know or let on to what it, what it is you're really experiencing inside, okay? Because that flies completely in the face of this structure that you've been, that you've resided under for so very long. However, it does feel like you're in the process of breaking free from this, right? So strength is you're facing the devil, you're facing the dogma, you're facing everything that, all of the structure that you've been under for so long. And the devil is showing itself, at least figuratively, internally, because again, I really don't feel like you're letting any of this out in the open at least in terms of whatever the Hierophant represents here. There may be some individuals, I just saw 222 again. There may be some individuals that you might feel comfortable talking to this about, but I don't, I, that's not very many, that's few and far in between. And it's not even like it's really that beneficial. So you may not even really be indulging in that. You're probably just feeling like it's better not to talk about it at all, which is fine. Deal, you're dealing with this on your own. Okay, that's fine. But you're also in the process of self-mastery. Okay, three of pentacles, and then also the nine of cups was at the, uh, at the uh, on the other side of the deck. This is all in our pre-shuffle energies. And that's definitely relating to what you're going through here because you're in the process of rebuilding. You're in the process of re-identifying, right? There's two, two, two again. This is getting crazy. Okay, but, okay. Okay, with that said, let's get a little more clarity on this for you here. What do these energies represent for you? What is this, masculine? What is this? King of Cups, the Lovers, Ace of Cups. What is this? For the masculine. Okay, so we had some things fall out. And I feel like they're turning up, uh, uh, they're turning in reverse, but I want to pull them upright. Okay, we have the Two of, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Moon, and we have Strength again. There you have it. <laughs> Overall energy, the six of wands. All right, that's great. That's really, really great. And you know what I'm, I, I, what I feel like right now, masculines, especially between the six of wands, which, in you, which you can see here, there's a butterfly that is, has, seems to have risen above these brandle, brambles here, right? They've come out of some, some tricky situation. They've come out of some, some something that's been really tangled and probably really burdensome, right? I am seeing this as between the six of wands here with this butterfly and the moon. I'm seeing you as in kind of a um, a cocoon phase right now. You're very much the butterfly that's about to emerge from the cocoon, and that's why you need to to rely on your inner strength, okay? Because you are very much developing into. Look, there's another butterfly right here. Two of Pentacles. Okay, there, I'm definitely seeing you're in a cocoon right now. Um, you're you're getting ready to emerge. You know, as far as the time in which the time frame in which you're going to emerge, I don't know. Time is an illusion. There are no clocks in the universe. So, like, whatever you emerge is when you're going to emerge. Okay, this is pro this process is going to take however long it needs to take. But looky here, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Now, here in this situation. I am seeing the Two of Cups as the balance of masculine and feminine within. I am seeing this as a union within, mainly because you are going through this cocoon phase, right? Where you're about to emerge as a new person, okay? And and this this Two of Cups here is what is, the, the balance here that this Two of Cups is representing is what's allowing you to, to, to stand into in this 
King of Cups, the Lovers, Ace of Cups energy. All right, the Lovers is, my, in my opinion, a minor arcana version of the Two of Cups. So you're definitely coming into a balancing phase. But with this balancing phase that you are going through, this cocoon, if you will, you about to emerge as, a, 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 as the butterfly, this completely transformed person, um, that is allowing you to line up with some sort of lover's situation. Whatever you want to call it. You want to call it a twin flame? Fine, call it a twin flame. You want to call it a divine partnership? Fine, call it a divine partnership. You want to call it a soulmate? Fine, you call it a soulmate. You want to call it a boyfriend, girlfriend? Fine, call it a boyfriend, girlfriend. You want to call it a, a husband, wife situation? Fine, call it a husband, wife situation. Husband, husband situation. Wife, wife situation. Boyfriend, boyfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend. Are you getting what I'm getting at here? Labels mean nothing. Okay, <laughs> it's just a label. All right, fine. Okay, great. But this is happening for you, masculines. And this is a good thing. I know it feels, okay, troublesome, tiresome, tumultuous. I mean, look at this. That's not a happy person right there. Okay, but, but this is a person that looks like they're starting to realize some things about their reality. They're starting to realize some things about their life, maybe even about themselves. And they're like, oh my God, I, I, I wish I could get it to shut up. I wish I could get it to stop, but it's not stopping. You have no choice. I have no choice. I have to face this. I have to do this. Yeah, well. But this is only going to serve your highest good. I know this is painful. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. As someone that's been through a lot of shit over the last two years, just the last two years of my life alone, these transformations are not easy. They're not comfortable. They're painful as fuck. Physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever. They're painful, all right? So I get it. But this is going to serve your highest good because once you emerge from this cocoon, masculines, you will be free. Look at that, six of wands. Look at how that butterfly is free to just fly around. Unburdened, unstopped, untaxed by the brambles it has just now emerged from. You will be free and life will be so much better for you once you're able to emerge from this cocoon. Okay? It's all right. So now let's look at what the feminine's going through here. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This is very much an energy. This feels like the feminine really has just, she's learned a lot. She's really, really learned her lesson here and is fully, um, fully, fully embodying her, her independence for sure and is really not worried, to be honest, is really not worried about coming together with anybody. Especially, especially if it doesn't serve her. Like this is a situation in which she's, she's grateful. She's grateful just to be on her own. She's thankful, okay? She's thankful also for what she's learned, Seven of Pentacles. And it wasn't easy for her either. I mean, trust me, this, this shit is not easy. Okay, so let's look at this. What's going on for the feminine side of this? What is this, please, spirit? For the feminine. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time here. For the feminine side of this equation here, right? What is this, please, spirit? Here we go. That's enough. Oh gosh, okay, there was more. <laughs> okay, there was more. All right, cool. We're gonna leave it there. Overall energy, we have the hermit. Hello, we have the hermit, all right? The feminine is very much in hermit mode and she's very happy to be in her shell. She's safe. She's protected, but in the shell, she can shine her own light, all right? The feminine has become more committed to shining her light than anything else. I'm gonna leave these here. We're gonna look them in a second, but we have the nine of wands, the three of cups. Okay, there's the three of cups again. We have the king of swords, we have the page of swords. Oh boy, we have the nine of cups, we have the world and we have death. This is very interesting. 
Because what I want to say with this King of Swords and the Page of Swords is that she's being watched by the masculine. But I also... I guess this is what that is. I, and I, I, I'm, I, guess, I guess my ego's getting a little bit involved here. Like I don't, I'm trying to look at this as a, 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 from the most diplomatic point. <laughs> that figures, because that's what the King of Swords represents. So I kind of feel like this is the feminine energy too. You might be watching, oh, oh. Okay, well, I guess what this is for the feminine is she's standing in this dipl diplomatic energy. She's no longer in the Queen of Swords energy. She's now in the King of Swords energy. That makes sense. But she's being very vigilant, keeping a watchful eye on what's around her between the King of Swords and the Page of Swords. This is a really good combination rather than just having the Queen of Swords because, because the Queen of Swords is very watchful too, but she will, al she will also cut your head off in an instant, without even another word, a second guess, without even asking, without even like very, the Queen of Swords can be seen as a shoot first, ask questions later question uh, uh, card sometimes, or energy sometimes, but okay. The feminine is being very vigilant here in keeping a watchful eye on what's surrounding her. Now that also could be seen as the masculine watching her, King of Swords with the Page of Swords. And that makes sense too, because the masculine is kind of being forced to be diplomatic here and to not just come in all willy nilly because he knows the feminine is not gonna accept that. Not at all. Okay. All right. Um, before I go any further, but just keep in mind what else we have here is the nine of, I'm sorry, the nine of wands, yes, the three of cups, again, the Nine of Cups, again, but the Nine of Cups came out in the beginning, in the pre-shuffle. We have the, the World and Death. Okay, but I want to look at these cards here. Oof. Interesting. This is beautiful. We have the Sun, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. But I feel like, I'm, I'm hearing masculine energy. I feel like this is between the two. This is the energy connecting the two of them. The two counterparts here, masculine and feminine. Because I'm hearing that this is affecting the masculine energy too. So this is what's in between the two of you. The hanged man, the eight of pentacles, and the sun. So, but this is mostly for the masculine. Yes, that's what they're saying here. So what I'm, what I'm picking up is, for the feminine, um, the feminine staying in this energy, staying in this independent energy, persevering, um, closing out cycles, going through a transformation, you're influencing this. Hanged man, eight of pentacles, and the sun. You're influencing um, work. This really is both energies. Enlightenment is what the hanged man is representing. There, but for the masculine, there's a bit of stagnancy here. Feeling stuck, feeling not able to move, make a move and move forward until some sort of work is done, until some sort of web is woven, until some, maybe some sort of safety net is created. Um, I feel like for the masculine side, you're really working on building a new future, uh, the f a future for you and maybe your counterpart, um, restructuring your life, restructuring yourself, doing the craftsmanship work, the hard work to align with this counterpart situation potentially. For the feminine, you're doing the same. I mean, you, I feel like the feminine, you've come out of this enlightenment phase. You've reached a, a, a new point of view a change in perspective, and now you're building your life in terms of that. But you're doing this all in on your own, independently. I really don't feel like you have any sort of um, person in mind as you're building your life, whereas it feels kind of like the masculine does. And this is not a bad thing at all. This is not a bad thing for either side of the equation. The feminine has just gone through a really massive change in perspective. Ooh, I'm sorry, Sel uh, Selenite. I keep, um, citrine, I'm sorry. I keep hitting my citrine candle with my coffee mug. You're not a candle. You're a, you're a crystal. Oh, good God. Get it together, Eric. <laughs> 
But ultimately, this is good. Especially with the sun coming out between the two of us. Or, ooh, okay. The two of you. <laughs> this is good. This really is good. With this death and the world card here, I really just feel like the feminine is influencing a major change. Just by holding your own. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Perseverance is key, feminine. Just keep going. And if you need to not think about this counterpart situation, by all means, do that. Focus on yourself. Focus on your well-being. Focus on what it is you truly want to do. All right? Don't focus on the counterpart. Let the counterpart do what they do. Right now, the counterpart is a bit focused on you or on the feminine, but that's part of his process too, okay? He's going, he or she, they're going through their healing. And, ooh, okay, all right. And they're dealing with the surf surfacing emotions. That's what I just heard. Um, dealing with the surfacing emotions, which is most likely why this is an issue for the counterpart right now, the Hierophant with the five of pentacles you see how you see the, the this is no mistake this is no mistake that this person is shown like this right now okay with his head in his hands okay now we're going to move on to the last section i want to get spirits take and then i want to get your oracle guidance All right, so we're gonna get Spirit's take on the situation here. Let me put this down here so we can see it. Um, this is, I just don't wanna cover everything, but uh, leave it there, it's fine. Woo. All right, so we're gonna get Spirit's take on this situation here. Two more shuffles. So Spirit's take involves or, I'm sorry, includes advice for you. So let's see, let's see what we get. Okay. That one needs to stay reversed. That's fine. Queen of Cups, though. Ooh! Uh, all right. That's enough. Overall energy. Ooh! Oh, shit. Okay, well, we have the tower. <laughs> okay. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. We have Temperance in reverse. Interesting. Wow. Why is Temperance in reverse? Okay. Because the feminine has gotten very very impatient. But the advice here, feminine, is you need to be more compassionate and understanding of what the masculine is going through. That is literally what I just heard. Why? Because you were here before. Don't you remember? Don't you remember how difficult that was? Especially when you couldn't talk to the masculine and now the masculine can't talk to you and he's going through all this? Right? You have to be more compassionate. You have to be more understanding. You have to be more patient. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to focus on this again. You don't. But in your non-focus on it, in your staying true to, your, to what it is you need to do, focusing on yourself, please don't throw any daggers at the masculine. Please. Be compassionate. Be understanding. When he's ready, when the time is right, he will come forward. You just have to be patient. And understanding is what I'm hearing, okay? Look at the masculine side, though. They've got the two of swords in reverse. No more indecision. No more indecisiveness. If this really feel like, feels like the masculine knows exactly what's going on here, is aware of the situation, and is probably no longer, ref no longer refusing to admit it. This is coming out of denial. Two of swords in reverse, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, Masculine, your wish fulfillment comes in you making the offer. And you know this now. 
and I'm hearing you're waiting for the right time to strike. And it's funny because when I looked, when I saw the two of swords in reverse, you know what the first thing I heard was? Marriage. Ooh, gagging. Oh, marriage, what? Says the feminine, what? I don't know about that. Well, think about this. Divine union, divine partnership is a sort of marriage. Take the, take the, the human three-dimensional structure, societal structure, out of the out of what we know to be the institute of marriage right take all that superfluous bullshit out of there and look at the union of souls the union of hearts it's a marriage this marriage is already existing in the in the internal now it's finding its way out into the external the tower oof Social structure is coming down, and I'm hearing the masculine is fighting it, okay? You're either fighting the, the, the social structure coming down, or you're fighting against the social structure now. Either way, it's a good thing. Ultimately, what is necessary will come about. Wow. The feminine very much is tired of waiting. Yes, we understand. But patience is key here. Okay. So we're going to close out the reading with our Oracle Guidance. And our Oracle Guidance today is coming from the Lightworker. Whoops, the Lightworker Oracle deck. Okie dokie. Let's see what we've got for us today, kids. I'm going to do this three shuffles. Our oracle guidance for today's message, please bear it. Whoa. There it is. Wow. Well, would you look at that, you guys? We have card number 19, an invitation to connect. This is both spiritually and physically. The 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 definition in the book is going to take us to talking about connecting to the spirit realms and whatnot, yes? But even when I read this card the first time, this is, in the physical, this is an invitation to connect with your counterpart in the physical in some way. And that doesn't mean that you need to rush out now and like send them a message, an email, or like try and meet up with them in the physical, no. But this is a message of like start taking the steps to, to, to figure out how to do that. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. Love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing to willing and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who close their minds because they, are, because, of, because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open, receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet. So you are being offered an invitation to connect. For the most part, this is a message for the masculine because the masculine is starting to get into the energy of being able to connect with extraterrestrial beings, otherworldly beings is what I heard specifically, um, you know, ancestors, guardian angels, um, uh, spirit animals, uh, just guides, whatnot, whatever. Those who wish to help us ascend. The feminine has been in communication with these individuals or these beings for quite some time now. And you're still technically working alongside with them. Mostly for the masculine now, you are, you're being told, hey, you're ready. You can start connecting to these. You can start tapping into the, the, the assistance that is here, has been here for all of us this whole time. Okay.
Okay, I want to read this. There are many dimensions to existence. For those who are developing evolved extra, uh, I'm sorry, evolved sensory perception, the senses will not be restricted to that. I'm sorry. This. Let me say. <laughs> let me start over. For those who are developing evolved sensory perception, the senses will not be restricted to being impressed upon by the physical dimension. There are higher dimensions that the psychic or emotional nature can recognize, and even more refined dimensions that the higher mind can recognize. Beyond that, there are dimensions that the mind, even in its most expansive state, cannot grasp, but the spirit knows to be real. The more your sensory to I'm sorry, the more your sensitivity to subtle energy evolves, the more you aware you become of these worlds beyond the world, uh, beyond this world. For some, this will be easy to accept and will inspire interest in learning more. Others may be tentative about exploring connections with non-earthly beings. I'm going to keep reading. Great peace can grow in the heart of those who are unafraid, who are open to the idea of beings that are aware of humanity, but not human themselves, who want to help humanity evolve and have the spiritual power to be able to do so. No matter how mixed up and consumed by darkness the world may seem at times, there are so many powers of light working to see the earth and humanity through this most interesting time, to see us into the new age of spiritual enlightenment. It is all part of this divine experiment of life, and there are many forces invested in the successful and loving evolution of humanity. If you have been contemplating life beyond the earth, perhaps talking to the stars or gazing wistfully at other planets, if you have been intrigued by the mysterious codes of light and sound, you are sure, I'm sorry, a light and, uh, I'm sorry. If you have been intrigued by the mysterious codes of light and sound, you sure, Oh, I'm sorry, you are sure are embedded in crop cycles, crop circles. Let me say that again. If you have been intrigued by the mysterious codes of light and sound, you are sure are embedded in crop circles or simply have a feeling that you would like to work with beings who are more spiritually evolved than humanity at present, then you are being given a clear message with this oracle. There are th Beings in other worlds that are very aware of your open, loving attitude and the work you are doing. They are actively responding to your thoughts and feelings. Since we live in a free will zone on earth, we must extend an invitation to receive assistance. Because you are unafraid and resonate from a place of peaceful curiosity and higher level awareness, you are capable of issuing the needed invitation to those that can assist humanity from a place of unconditional love. Of course, there are forces in the broader universe, just as there are forces in the natural world here on Earth that would not be so helpful to the triumph of love on this planet. Therefore, we must issue our invitation to the forces of light with a peaceful heart and a wise mind. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.